All right, obviously a disappointing uh, 40 to eight loss here in the first round at Green Central. Um, and I mean, really a tough night kind of in every facet of the game. So um, what were some of the things that made a difference tonight? Uh, I really don't know. You know, I got, I got, to, I got to go back and look at, um, I've, I've struggled getting our guys motivated the last couple of weeks. Uh, I, I feel like this is all on me. Um, I don't know what the real problem is. I want to cry because there's so many good uh, guys walking out the door. Um, got some good ones in there, but uh, you know, football's football, and don't want to sound like I'm making excuses. But we we got hit with the injury bug a couple of weeks ago, and then we got we we have not shaken the flu slash RSV. Um, we've had uh, you know last week we had eight starters out. This week. You know, it's been touch and go. A lot of guys missing practice. But uh, with all that said, it's up to me to motivate them and, and, and get them coached up well. And I just don't feel like I did a good job um, this week of getting them ready. I felt like we were ready to play, but obviously not. Um, so I don't know what to put my finger on. But, I, you know, I guess it's what makes us better coaches. And I got to get back to the drawing board and find out how to get our guys um, ready in situations like this and, and, and ready to come play. I, I love the Bulldogs. We are a very talented team. Um, but I gotta get, I gotta squeeze every little bit of the ounce of energy out of them that I can. I just wouldn't be able to do it these last two weeks. Yep. And special teams, I mean, their first touchdown was after I think that punt was a little bit deflated, mm -hmm. and then they ran it back to the four uh, short field. Mm -hmm. And then beginning of the second half, had the two kickoff returns. Um, so obviously, special teams was a big factor. Special teams, is, special teams has hurt us uh, the last uh, half of the season, and um, I think going going now, I think that. Uh, uh, you know, with, with, with a lot of times you want to put your best players on, on the team. Um, but I think that we're going to have to get back to being um, beamer ball mm -hmm. and really focusing on special teams. I, you know, special teams have been good for us the last couple of years, but uh, I'd say the last half of the season we've really paid the price for special teams. So uh, I, I can guarantee you right now that uh, Monday, if God bless me to be there, that we, that'd be one of the things on the board to, to get fixed. Yeah. Um, and KB got hurt on the second drive. Okay, um, we're gonna we're gonna tell the truth about every, KB now. KB's been hurt now, uh, going on about seven weeks. Yeah, uh, you know it's uh, you know you, it's one thing to hide a guy like that, then you, you know you gonna juggle. You know he, he's got such a, a future, um, and so you know what, what's the right thing to do? What's the wrong thing to do? Uh, I'm so tremendously happy about him and proud. Uh, you know tonight he even wanted to bring his back self back in. Last week he shouldn't have played. The week before that he shouldn't have played. Um, and like I said, you know, even in the in the Clinton game, it was about 70%. Yeah. Uh, and th no excuses because they got somebody over there at 70%. But what I'm saying is KB has been hurt for a long time. We've been trying to hide it just to um, to kind of get him to get healed up. You know, it's one of those uh, ankle injuries where it feels like he roses every week. So um, I think that uh, uh, what's going to happen is in, in about two or three weeks, as tough as he is, he'll be 100%, and I'll, it'll be happy. I'll be happy to see him, you know, move around. You know, yeah. he's got some big decisions to make in the next couple yeah. of weeks. So um, I'm, I'm extremely proud. I think he's the biggest. Uh, you know, 20 years being around this program, um, I think uh, I can honestly say he is the best uh, bulldog ever uh, since I've been there. So I really, really appreciate of everything he's given to this program, and it's my job now to find the next KB. Yeah. Uh, but obviously that hurts you that, I mean, when he re-aggravated it there on the second drive and yeah. um, never had another carry, obviously yeah. that hurts you to lose a guy yeah, like that. Yeah, it's been the story the last couple of weeks. If you see, he, he'll break a run and then gets it rolled over and it's time to come out. So, I mean, you know, I, I definitely feel like a healthy KB, hey, anybody with a healthy KB, it makes them give them an opportunity. Right. Um, but it's been tough to watch him. It's been tough. You know, we've had some seniors with injuries, and it's been tough to watch him, you know, um, especially with KB, you know, uh, KJ, Adrian Hall, uh, those seniors, uh, Jordan Shaw. Uh, we've got some seniors that's gotten some true injuries and had to either work through them or out for the season. So uh, KB's one of them that just it's just been painful to kind of watch. And, and we've been trying to make the right decisions because, you know, as coaches, sometimes we make the wrong decisions and want them to play as much as possible. But um, just appreciative of everything he's given to the program. Yep. And um – with that said, offensively struggled to move the ball at times, um, and obviously that's a very good team, very good defense over there. Mm -hmm. uh, but what were kind of some of the factors in play there that led you guys to struggle? Uh, offensively? It was time for us to grow up. You know, they got a DB over there; he's committed to Navy, and they got yeah. a you know D line, couple of D linemen can roll. I think that the night that showed us that uh, you know one thing the night that we know was going to have to happen is getting in the weight room. Uh, we are uh, we are a program that has standards, and we cannot allow our standards to go lower. So I think that the night. Um, 
it showed that uh, you cannot, you cannot, uh, you cannot always have a, uh, um, you can't just play on 23. So moving forward, we got to find other players that can play. Yeah. Yep. And um, then defensively, um, and some of it was field position, of course, but um, they had, you know, a couple excellent backs as well and, mm -hmm. um, you know, moved the ball pretty much at will uh, for a lot of the game tonight too. Like I told them, I said at halftime, I was kind of happy it was 20 to – 20 to zero because I mean we was we had bad field position we had we had a block punt taking back you know things like that like I told him said guys as bad as it was it really wasn't as bad I mean it could have been worse yeah uh, we had some opportunities in the first half but uh, yeah I, I think that like you said all facets of the game tonight we suffered um, and I, and it it makes for room for a heck of a comeback and a heck of an improvement so I'm looking forward to it you know. Uh, Get my coaches off probably this weekend, and Monday we'll get back to the drawing board and talk about uh, what we need to do to get better. Yeah. And how do you kind of reflect on obviously just walking off the field? But how do you kind of reflect on the season? Um, ultimately, finish at six and four. Um, I think that we. I didn't. I, don't, I think as 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 Bulldogs, uh, I think that we underachieved this year. Um, I'm extremely proud of what we did this year. Um, six wins. I mean, I'm extremely proud, but we know that we feel as a staff and the, and the football team that we, we did not uh, complete our goals. Uh, we do. We 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 plan on winning each game, um, but we we don't feel like that we uh, met our standard this year. So meeting your standards is all on your head coach. So I, I have to get back to the drawing board, and we have to find a way to get back to our standard. Yeah.